Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, I'll tell you what, it's going pretty nice here today. Temperature's nice and low and cool. We got some rain coming through. It's a nice, cool, comfortable summer day. I wonder how much more of these we're going to have. Hopefully, a lot. Anyway, onwards to the news, sort of, kind of. There is a new thing going on, and some may already be aware of it. Hermitcraft Mod Sauce. This is a new modded Minecraft, uh, a mod pack for Minecraft that has been put together specifically for Hermitcraft. And sometime in the next couple of weeks, it's going to be available on the AT launcher. And uh, that way, uh, people can, if they want, play along with uh, their favorite hermit uh, or, or any number of things like that. And. Uh, it's very interesting it's got a lot of things in it that I've never seen before so it ought to be fun figuring some of this stuff out in other gaming news Kerbal Space Program has updated to 0.24.2 the second of a couple of uh, hotfix updates to take care of some bugs that were unearthed and uh, I am in the process of locating and installing all of the mods that I use, the 0.24 versions of them, 0.24.2 versions of those mods as, they, as they're updated. And I should be able to have all that in place in a day or two and be able to continue with the uh, first contract LP. And I do want to get those updates in place. And how many of you remember this guy? Mr. Testicles Aldent. That's right. The EVE Online LP is coming back. It never actually died. It went to sleep for a long time and whatnot because of, uh, well, a number of things that I really don't need to go into. Let's just say that it had to be put on the back burner. But it's still there. Going to be working on that. And in addition to just regular gameplay and such, I'm going to do something else too. I am working on putting together a set of videos that is intended to be the sort of EVE Online tips for new players that I wish that I had had access to when I first started playing. I don't claim to be any kind of an expert in things, but in the year that I've been on there, I have learned some stuff. I'm going to try to pass some of that along and try to provide some helpful information that I wish I had had when I first started. And I'll be starting with the very beginning of the process going through new character creation and uh, then after the new character creation phase I'm going to switch to another character that I made back when I started. This guy. Tinfoil Chef. And I made that character with that name because at the time I wanted to make sure that I was the one that had that name. And uh, I haven't done anything with the character since then. He's still sitting there in his initials, in it with his first ship, in his initial uh, corporate station, and the NPC corporate station you start out in, and that's where he sits. Nothing has been done with that character to, to start some skills training and then pause them because I needed to have the other character actually training. And it's been paused for over a year. It's time to do something with that. So I'm going to be working with that. And all of this is coming up and ongoing. And now I'm going to be ongoing to get some other things done that I need to do. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here. Mr. Tenfold Snuff